Hi guys. Welcome to the August Diaries. I'm going to show you what I bought, I guess, for the month of April because it's May 2nd today. May 2nd? No, I think it's the first today. Anyways, whatever. I just got in a huge Zara haul that I got. Um, again, I usually buy a bunch of stuff and then send a lot back, but I haven't even opened the boxes yet, so I will do that with you guys on camera. Um, and then I also got a few other things from Shopbop, um, some Zoe Chico necklaces that I'm wearing, and I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. So I have this set up a little bit differently. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Just let me know your feedback. Okay, top number one. So this is the linen top. This is in an extra small. Um, it is $79. I really like it, but I don't like this part. And it's also really itchy, and I actually think it's too itchy to even wear at all. Like I want to take it off right this second. So unfortunately I think this is going to go back just because it's too itchy. This is top number two. It's really cute and I think it would look great on somebody else but it's just not really my style. I don't know that I just don't feel like myself in it. So if that ever happens with clothing just take it off and don't buy it. So unfortunately it's also a little bit big. And I don't know if I could wear a bra with it, but I need to wear a bra with it. So I think this is a no. Damn it, I'm not off to a very good start. Hi, I'm Jill from Little House on the Prairie. So this dress is really cute on the top. I really like the sleeves, but there is just way too much volume and length on the bottom, I think. I almost like it but I think, I think it's just too much. Why don't I put some shoes on? Okay, I put on my like coolest pair of shoes. <laughs> my Nike Blazers, still unsure. I think probably no. All right, here is the linen skirt. Um, I got a small and an extra small. This is a size small. So I would stay with your regular Zara size or maybe even size down one. Um, it looks really cute with this camisole. This is Aritzia. I like it a lot. I'm just wondering how much I'm going to wear it. If I'm not going to wear it like with at least like three different outfits, I'm kind of unsure. I don't know. It's so cute though. I'm just going to put it on with a pair of white mules that I got. They are real leather, white leather flat mules. Um, the only thing is that you can kind of see when I do this, they don't have any structure to them. And so you can like see your toes. And I think I'm a little bit thrown off by that. I would just wear them with like summer dresses, maybe a pair of jeans or shorts. Sometimes I wish I could ask everyone's opinion. Well, not everyone's opinion. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Um, okay, I also got two blazers, so I'm going to try that on as well. I got this kind of very brown, vintage checked one, and then this linen. Um, it, it's a little bit like seersucker. At first, I was going to say I would never wear these together, but I actually don't hate them. I think it's just this thing. This knot is a bit weird. Because if the jacket falls over, it makes you look a little bit like you have a baby bump, which none of us want unless we have an actual baby. So I'm going to have to try this on with something else, but I like the color. kind of reminds me of like my grandfather's blazer slash Isabel Morant blazer. Yeah, I really like the color. I am hoping that it has pockets. Yes, it does. I fucking hate it when blazers and jackets have faux pockets, like where it just looks like it from the outside. Like pockets are the most amazing thing in the world. And I wish that, I actually wish that this skirt had pockets too. Anyways, let me put the other blazer on for you guys. 
Okay, this is much lighter. It's not lined, which is probably good because it's a summer blazer. Um, it's like seersucker, really light linen. It's really cute, except that I think there's just too much fabric around the hip area. Like it just looks like my hips are way bigger than they are. I think I wish it was single breasted, not double breasted. I think I like the other one better even though the other one is not remotely a summer blazer. Hi. Okay, so I got these cat eye sunnies. I am aware that I just got a pair of the Lispex Adam Selman, and they are almost the exact same sunglasses, so I will be sending these back. But they are super cute. They're like 25 bucks, and they're in stock in, on Zara Canada right now, so snag them if you want them. Blazer with jeans. I'm having trouble with the way that these are cut. These flats. I don't know why. And I also am fully aware that I got these Zara like white mules not long ago. So let's put these on and see what they look like. I just feel like these are more flattering to the leg. I'm, uh, I'm doing a like no sugar no alcohol for a few weeks just because I mean I want to like trim up before the wedding but I just am feeling shitty like my stomach is upset and my body just doesn't feel good so I'm just gonna cut that out for a little bit I'm on day two and I feel fucking awful I feel shaky and tired and ugh. so sorry if I seem a bit weird so it's a really good time to try on clothes right now <laughs> and make decisions about money. <laughs> just kidding. All right, this blazer is so cute and it is just cut wrong in my opinion. It like, there's extra fabric around the hips, I guess just to give you more room to um, button it up, but I just wouldn't button it up anyway. So there's way too much fabric around here. It's really comfortable though. And I really like the, the fabric and the print. That's too bad. I have to decide if I'm gonna keep these. What do you guys think? Do they look weird from the front? Let me know in the comments. White mules, yes or no? I got two other accessories, and then that will be it for my Zara haul. Andrew like freaked the fuck out when he saw all the boxes, and I was like, no, 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 it's okay. I usually return like 80% of everything, so. Also, I am fully aware that I have a potty mouth and it's part of my charm a little bit. <laughs> For those of you who don't enjoy it, that is completely your prerogative and you don't have to watch these, but I'm not going to quote unquote be more of a lady just because a few people want me to. I did it, I got a fanny pack. It's too big for where I wanna wear it. Like I wanna wear it like this around my natural waist, probably like with a dress or something. All right, here it is with my Faithful the Brand dress. I don't know, I think it's a no. There's this really cool blogger, well there are these two particularly cool LA bloggers, um, Tanya Serene and Angela Fink and they can just pull off stuff like this. I think I need a longer dress. Um, it needs to be more like a mid-length dress, but I think I'm not cool enough to pull this off. Not cool enough. Last but not least, these are the Zara sunglasses, but in tortoiseshell. Hopefully you can see that. I actually like them in tortoiseshell better than in black. I know they're super fashion-y and weird and whatever, but they're so cute. And when you look down, your eyes are covered. And then you have to look up like this. <laughs> okay, so what do I need help on? I need help with those white sandals, yes or no. Um, the belt bag, yes or no. The linen striped skirt, yes or no. What else? I think I'm gonna keep that brown blazer. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I got from Shopbop. I got some white tees from Haynes and Carla, Carla Welch, who's a um, Canadian fashion stylist actually. 
also some necklaces. So quite a few of you guys ask about my jewelry. First of all, this is my engagement ring. I do have a video all about how Andrew and I got engaged, how he custom designed this piece with a Toronto jeweler, um, and I will link that for you guys right here. So the other thing that I get asked about a lot is these little diamond huggy hoops. These are by Adina Rater. Rater? Adina Rader, and I love them, I wear them all the time. These two are Maria Tash. I got them when I got my piercings when I was in New York. My current favorite jeweler is Zoe Chico by far. These are both Zoe Chico necklaces. This is the diamond choker, and then this one, I'm not sure if you can see it all that well, says dope, and Andrew got this for me to commemorate my CAFA nomination for Digital Fashion Influencer of the Year from the Canadian Arts and Fashion Awards. So I didn't win. Great. Just kidding. I had an amazing night and I feel really honored to have been nominated. I also have done like a behind the scenes and taking you through my makeup for the CAFA so I can link that as well in case you haven't seen it. In case you want to see it. I also get asked about my brows all the time on Instagram. So if anyone follows me on Instagram and you're wondering about my brows, then I have got them microbladed and I have done a video all about that, taking you through the process, answering any questions that you have and letting you know where I got them done, which is unfortunately for any East Coasters on the West Coast outside of Vancouver. Is it too butch? I don't know. This is the other Haynes Carlish t-shirt. It's called the baby tee. It's like a little cropped t-shirt. It's a pretty good size. This is the small. I think I might have gotten a medium. No, sorry. This is a medium. Um, so size up in this for sure. These are my Citizen Dree cropped and the color is called Trophy. I actually bought another pair because I love them so much. This t-shirt's cute. It's nice and soft. It's like 25 bucks, 30 bucks. It's a good basic. Okay. A belt. This is from Below the Belt from Shop Bop. It looks good on the model, but I think it reminds me too much of my high school days. It's just a bit... Maybe I should wear it with a dress. This just screams teenager, the like <laughs> cropped shirt and the, the midriff showing and the belt, the big belt. I think it's too high school for me. And then this ring on my pointer finger right here is the Adina Rater, Writer. Someone tell me how to say that, Adina Writer. Um, Pave ring that I got. I just wear kind of like little dainty rings all the time and I wanted one for my pointer finger. I got this at the Shop Up sale. They have really good sales a few times a year. And just FYI, I always do like a roundup post of my favorites. So stay tuned for that. I also got this pink Nike hat for working out and kind of any athleisure things that I want to do. It's got like a little Nike sign right here. Um, I'm kind of worried it's like a little bit off center. Does it look? I'm looking for a really good pair of kind of like athleisure pants that are um, that go in at the ankle and are short enough that they kind of show off your shoes that I can just wear with like a bomber jacket or whatever on the weekends or if I'm just feeling lazy. Um, but I can't find any that like are a nice enough fabric or they're all too long for me because I have short stubby legs. Um, when I was in high school, this guy told me that I had really short legs and I have never forgotten it. I do have short legs and now I don't care, but when you are that age, you just don't forget that stuff. And so now I, I told Andrew about it and everything and he always makes fun of me for having short legs, but um, in all seriousness, I can't find anything that's the right length for my short legs. <laughs> If you guys know of any, please let me know. Um, the Adidas ones are cool, but they're too long. Like the trefoil three-stripe ones, they're too long for me. Those damn short legs. 
that is it for my April haul. Um, let me know if you guys, oh, did you like the setup where I had the camera set up on a stand and I was kind of showing you guys? I can only do that for tops really. Um, otherwise I feel like if I stand too far away then you can't really see it anyway. Or do you prefer me talking into the mirror like this so that you guys can see everything and I can show you all the deets? Let me know, please, in the comments. Also, before I let you go, I just wanted to let you know that I have already changed back into my sweatpants. And I'm going to sit on the couch with a cup of tea and watch Gossip Girl. I forgot that I... Have a giveaway for you so let me take you through it so i'm giving away two of my favorite things the five minute journal and these bite beauty agave lip balm set i actually have this one as well um it's got the agave lip balm in the stick agave lip scrub and these agave lip masks in different colors this is clear pink red maple and lavender so to enter to win, all you have to do is comment on this YouTube video. Um, for an extra entry, you can comment on the coordinating Instagram video, which I will link in the description box. So that'll give you two entries. In your comment, let me know how you found me. Did you find me through Instagram, through YouTube, Facebook, word of mouth? Did I just pop up? Let me know. I'm always curious. Um, so that giveaway will run for one week. It is open internationally and good luck.